Hey everybody, it's Tyler with Gaia Force Gaming, and I have another gameplay video for you. Um, in the EX3 format now, uh, and I am playing Bloom Lord here on the left versus Crossheart on the right. So uh, Crossheart with the new ban and restricted list. Uh, so X4 only at one, Sunrise only at one. Yeah, it's a little bit rough, but this was in the final round. Uh, leading into the top cut. So I just go into Mushroom on and pass. Uh, don't have a stellar hand this game. He plays that Taiki. Grabbing Sparrow or uh, X4 and putting Starmons under him. He has a Sparrowmon and raising. He does just play out that Shoutmon. Grabbing the Zenjiro and Walker. Um, I do push up, go into the Sunflowmon. I have nothing to drop down with it, so I do not use its effect. Then I end up just playing the Terrier Mon to put him at one. He does swing and hit a Mimi. Swing again to hit Red Veggie and save. Then you just play out the Senjuro, gains the memory, but I go to three from the Mimi. We evolve there in the back to the Mushroom Mon. Uh, here I play the Samity Santi just to spend down Blocker, and then I swing. I did not know that Sparrow Mon was all turns, so <laughs> that's my bad. I thought it was just during your turn that I got the buff, but I was sorely mistaken. So this play put me very behind this game, as I essentially just deleted my Digimon for no reason. Uh, he does go into the X5, he has the full Digicross, swings for the two checks, then I believe he just goes into another X5 to swing for game. So we go over to game two. Uh, you know, I cross heart can still do cross heart things, even with only one of the X4s. X5 is still a pretty good card. You just can't do the loop like you used to, so you gotta wait a little bit longer to to secure that bag. So here we're shuffling up. I believe I'm going to make him go first for game two, if I remember correctly. He does just play the Senjuro, gain the memory, so I'm at two, and he's got the blocker on board. I play the little drooly boy in the back. Go into the Sunflow and the Agitar. He does just swing, end up saving, goes into the Kiriha, I'm going to push up, use Agitar's effect, drawing from the Sunflow, we're going to play the Veggie down, we're going to Digizort for one and a Cherry just play the red veggie to put him at three. He does evolve up into that Starmons in the back. Plays the Derulo to kill the red veggie. think for a moment here. Here he was mistaken about the memory. He played Derulo, reduce gaining the memory back going to three, and then put me to three. 
with King Shaman. I do go to four from the Argomon. I will be using the Edge Tarmon's effect to play the Pomu. We do evolve into the Bloom Lord, using his ability to suspend Pomu, Pomu to suspend that, gaining the memory, gaining piercing. We're going to swing at it for security plus one with piercing. It does hit the sunrise, but I do still have the two suspended, so a second check will still go. Suspend that, gaining one memory, and bottom decking that. I actually think this turn I forgot to gain the memory for a Jotarmon and draw the card for Sunflow when I suspend it with an effect. That's okay. We forget these things sometimes. Just play down another Taiki. Grabs the Sparrowmon. Underneath. Then I swing. Swing for the two checks. And does have the fireball. This is good. Saves him for this turn. I do drop down a mushroom mon. And then I Samity the Psyche. Not that it really matters because he does have Kiriha, but just wanted to find a way to pass him without passing him too much. So that was game two. I did end up winning that one. We move on to game three here. I believe he chooses to go first for game three. I could be mistaken, so I apologize if I am. He evolves to that Starmons and plays out the Kiriha. I do go to that Terrier in the back. Play out that Palmon. We're going to grab the Sunflowmon. Go to Red Veggie for one, Agitar for three. Does swing with that Starmons at the Red Veggie. Do go into that Sunflow. Play out the Pomu, use Agitar to suspend Pomu to play Pomu, suspending his uh, Drummy Boy. We're going to swing over it, suspend the Pomu to Digizorp. And I go to the Weedmon for one, and then just play a Pomu Mon. Just flooding the board as much as I can, trying to lay in some aggression. He does go into the X5, just have a blocker, I unsuspend, gain a memory. We are going to Samity, suspending that to suspend the Tamer and the X5. Evolve to the Mushroom Mon in the back. to the Hydramon, spending himself just to gain a memory and draw a card, bottom deck that guy. It's going to swing, I'm going to remember here to move the memory counter, I did say it out loud, I just took me a minute to move the memory counter when he swung for the Hydramon.
does just play out the Sparrow to pass turn. And here, I mean, you really do see just how out of control Bloom Lord can get if your opponent doesn't have answers. It's a pretty untenable board state without a Crimson Blaze or a Death X. Pretty much swing out with everything. Then we just end the turn with the Hydromon to pass turn, bottom decking boat. Now every time he swings, he will be losing six memory, or anytime his things get suspended for any reason. Let's play the Sendro, get that blocker, gain that memory, draw two cards. And that's it. You know, scoop. So it was a good game. Um, Want to get some more gameplay videos out for you guys? Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for your support and for always being the best community. Love you guys. Bye.